However, if the vitamin deficiency continues for uh, years, for decades, then uh, uh, this repair mechanism overshoots, leading to growing deposits and the risk of heart attacks and strokes. So what is the most effective solution to control heart disease? And uh, the most effective uh, solution is by controlling two aspects. One, maintaining healthy, elastic blood vessel wall. And the other one is controlling, optimizing uh, cholesterol metabolism in the liver. And the vitamin C in synergy with uh, other micronutrients is the factor that controls both processes, maintaining healthy vascular wall and optimizing cholesterol level. Current conventional medicine takes care only of these aspects. Uh, our scientific and clinical studies uh, confirm that micronutrients are effective both in prevention or reduction of the pro uh, progression of uh, uh, coronary heart disease at different stages. Uh, we know that micronutrients can prevent the deposition of cholesterol in the blood vessel wall, which are, these are early stages of atherosclerosis. And we need to remember that atherosclerosis develops for decades. And we know that uh, very young children, even teenagers, already may have cholesterol deposits. So therefore, it's never too early to start preventing uh, this problem. We also know that uh, micronutrients are effective in controlling more advanced stages of atherosclerosis, such as they can limit the proliferation of smooth muscle cells that build the uh, blood vessel walls, and this cells, uh, excessive growth of these cells will lead to formation of uh, plaques. Uh, and also at later stages where calcium already deposits in uh, the vascular wall and the most advanced stage uh, which uh, carries the risk of heart attacks, this is where plaque uh, ruptures and blood clot forms inside of the blood vessel which can uh, prevent the blood flow from uh, prevent the flow of the blood and the problem develops. So at every stage, it is important that specific micronutrients are provided to the body so the body can effectively deal with growing problem. Many people may uh, uh, can say that, you know, this is wonderful, but I have a different situation because the heart disease is uh, genetic, uh, it's in my genetic, um, and uh, therefore this may not apply to me. So our researchers were also looking at this aspect where the heart disease is uh, determined at the genetic level, and this is why uh, we did some experiments on animals that have a lack of a specific gene called APOE, which uh, makes them susceptible to heart uh, disease. These mice have a very high cholesterol level in the blood. But in addition to this genetic predisposition, what our researchers did, they also add another risk factor for heart disease, which is high blood pressure. So we were doing an experiment in which you, we used uh, mice, which had a genetic predisposition to heart disease and very high blood pressure. We put uh, this, we separated these animals into two groups. One group was uh, taking normal diet and the other group was taking a diet that was supplemented with the mixture of specific micronutrients. And after some time, we uh, analyzed, you know, how, what happens to the arteries of these animals. And you can see the results on this slide. 
I don't think that you need a lot of explanation in, because the results are obvious. When you look at the artery of the animals which were kept on normal diet, you can see lots of orange color, which indicates cholesterol deposits. And they were so thick at some areas you cannot even see the wall. So uh, mice, this mice kept on normal diet developed very uh, large cholesterol deposits. But look at the artery that was isolated uh, from the animal uh, which, uh, uh, who had a diet supplemented with micronutrients. The blood vessels are almost clear. So just one factor, which is the micronutrient supplementation, could make such a big difference in the organism that was genetically predisposed to disease and had other risk factors. Even more, the, we measured blood cholesterol level in these animals. And you can see that the total cholesterol level was lower by almost 32% in animals that were taking supplements. LDL, which is bad cholesterol, was lower by 65%. This is, you see, the graph illustrating that. And the ratio of so-called good cholesterol to bad cholesterol, which is HDL to LDL, was higher by almost 60%. So the lipid profile also improved. In addition, we could see that the arteries of animals that were kept on a normal diet developed many hemorrhages, blood clots. And here you can see the dark area, dark uh, areas that indicate the presence of blood clots while you can see that artery of the animal from uh, micronutrient supplemented group is free. And uh, forming of clots in the arteries is uh, very big, uh, forms very re uh, risk, uh, high risk of uh, heart attacks. So what do these results mean? They mean that micronutrients have benefits in decreasing risk of heart disease even in the presence of multiple risk factors such as genetic background and other uh, factors, in this case, high blood pressure. You may ask, these are animal studies, but what about uh, people? And here you can see the ultra-fast CT picture of the fragment of the heart of the patient who uh, had coronary uh, calcified deposits in the, one of the arteries. And the deposits are seen as a, a white spot inside of this white circle. And this is how his heart looked, uh, before, looked like before uh, taking supplements. After one year of specific uh, micronutrient supplementation, the deposits completely disappeared without drugs, without stents, without any procedure, just with micronutrient supplementation, micronutrients that could help to repair the defective blood vessel wall. This is not a miracle, this is science. Uh, even more, um, in many studies uh, uh, that were clinical studies, uh, these were small pilot studies, we could observe that micronutrient supplementation can help in lowering high uh, blood cholesterol level, uh, lowering high blood pressure, uh, decreasing the severity and frequency of arrhythmia, which is irregular heartbeat, uh, also improvement in heart failure, heart insufficiency, and also micronutrients were helpful in normalizing blood sugar levels in people who had diabetes. Natural health, so uh, natural health is, uh, provides answers not only to heart disease, which is number one cause of death in Romania and in uh, many countries, uh, but also to cancer, which for many of you sounds like impossible.